What does it mean when a prospective client decides not to hire you? And more importantly, what do you do? So here's the situation. Let's say you're a coach or a practitioner or a service provider of some kind, and you have a conversation with someone who's looking for help that you can provide. And that conversation goes great. In fact, maybe you have more than one conversation. You have a chance to propose an agreement that seems to be a match for everything they're looking for. And they're excited about it. You're excited about it. And they say yes. And then two days later, they change their mind. Or maybe they suddenly disappear. And when you follow up, they don't respond. What does it mean? This is a head scratcher, right? And if you've been at this for a little while or a long while, you know this is going to happen to you too. What does it mean? I'm going to tell you what it means. It means that person is a no for right now. It means that in this moment, they're saying no thank you. That's it. It doesn't mean anything about you. It doesn't mean you're not good at what you do. It doesn't mean you did something wrong and you're never going to get clients and you shouldn't be doing this in the first place. It doesn't mean that they're a jerk and they wasted your time. It doesn't mean any of that. It simply means it's not happening right now. All the rest is a story. All the rest is a meaning that you have given to it, may have given to it. When you keep it simple, you can see that it's not personal. Sometimes the timing isn't right. The stars haven't aligned, as we sometimes say, and it's okay. It's not up to you to make people hire you. Stay with what's yours to do. What's yours to do is show up and serve. What's yours to do is be yourself and follow what you know to do and say. That's it. It's not to create the outcome. 